I'm at the park today to cover a topic that y'all have been asking for. So if you want to be able to do this, or if you want to be able to do this, then stick around because today we're discussing tic tacking, how to kick turn, and why they're important. Let's go. What's up all my skaters? If you wanna learn how to progress quickly and have fun while doing it, then go ahead, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, leave a comment below, and let me know about it so I can welcome you to the family. So shout out of the week goes to all of these folks because you guys have been requesting this topic for a while, so here it is, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna start with the Tic Tac and why it's important. So why is it important that you learn how to Tic Tac? Well, for starters, tic tacking can help you gain more balance and be more comfortable on the board. It can also help you pick up some speed if you're not yet comfortable with pushing, so it's a way to get going without actually having to take your feet off. Another reason why tic tacking is important is because it can help you avoid objects. If you see a rock or something and need to make a quick, sharp turn, doing a little tic tac can help you get around that rock. So, let's go ahead and show you how to do it. So I slowed this clip down and the only thing I want you to pay attention to is my shoulders. Notice how I'm turning them slightly and leading my legs in the direction that I want them to go. Now let's look at foot placement and the lower half of the body as it reacts to the upper body. When I push down the tail, my front leg wants to move in the same direction that my shoulders were just leading in. Essentially I'm doing baby manuals every single time I'm pushing down and just taking a little turn. All right, so now that you're comfortable with tic tacking, it's time to learn how to kick turn, which is just a more pronounced or exaggerated tic tac. And if you notice in that last clip, I did a little bit of a kick turn to avoid going into this bowl. So, the reason to learn it is again, obstacle avoidance it can help you turn sharper if you need to, and it can also help you have more fun if you want to start taking it to banks or learning how to do it on quarter pipes, which we're going to show you in here. So here are some examples of kick turning on flat ground. You don't have to do complete 180s. You're not really gonna do that unless you're on a bank or a quarter pipe. And some of these are a little bit more manual than kick turn, but essentially a kick turn is a manual as you're picking up the front trucks and you're balancing on the back wheels while you make the turn. So this is also gonna help you learn your manuals if that's something you're struggling on. So guys, being able to tic tac before you try to fully kick turn is gonna help you, especially when you start learning on banks and quarter pipes, maybe not quarter pipes as much, but on banks, I'll show you here in just a second, you can actually do tic tacs or smaller kick turns to make your complete turn around. You don't have to do the full rotation at first. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I know at first it can be uncomfortable to get your shoulders turned to full 180 when you're doing this. Notice how I'm cutting it down into quarters and just doing little taps before I attempt to do the full rotation. As you watch the next series of clips, notice how my shoulders are rotating and my head is following, then my lower body turns. So I'm starting to turn my shoulders, I'm looking to where I'm going, and then my feet are following as I'm pushing down the tail and my front leg is rotating around. 